Now that I have nine tacos in my system from nine. last night, nine. our final LA food treat is Porto's Bakery. Legendary, worth it, and then we're gonna get right out of town and into the mountains. But first, I don't know, let's get like 20 or 30 cake pops or see what this bakery <laughs> offers. I don't know what their fancy thing is. I don't know where you have space, but I'm in. I got saddlebags on the bike, we'll just fill it. You can tell your mama and your daddy too, your brother and your sisters and your best friend too. I'm dreaming, dreaming of you. Well, all my dreams are sweet when I lay me down to sleep. Now I dream of you. He's got the bag. The bag, bag is secured. Like all of oh. We got a heart shaped cookie. I did. Thing. And then I'm sure I'll. Oh my. <laughs> what this place has apparently is very well reviewed. 15,454 five star reviews on Google so alone. Look, look at how cute. That is cute. A little heart. It. It's like a like button. So if you like this video, hit the like button. <laughs> and we'll send you free treats. Comment your address below <laughs> and your social security number and one of your credit cards. All right, my friends, now with a belly full of baked goods, let's load up on these steel horses and head out to the mountains. Yes. In the best Bon Jovi way we can. <laughs> Today's the day, John. To the mountains. This is a shakedown Order up that beat just like a takeout Show me you got soul inside those new shoes And you can rock and roll with an attitude So good, so fresh, just the way you like it I can't believe this place. Like, I've got to see a lot of California and you know some parts of the world. Yeah. <laughs> I get why people don't leave California. It makes sense. Uh-huh. You've been everywhere. Everywhere. From Africa, Somalia. with military, yep. you've Afghanistan. Well, you traveled the world doing various things. Yeah, yeah. I filled out a lot of passports that weren't blue. And now I'm stoked that I get to fill blue passports. <laughs> The civilian ones? The civilian ones. Yeah, it's interesting perspective too. Like riding through the state, it makes me realize like how much presence we have in front of us. Like just at the tip of our fingertips that doesn't take a TV show that just says is like, hey, let's go out in nature. Let's go to the lake. Let's go ride. And yeah, that's been a lot of it. Like reflecting on all the riding is like when I get home, like I'm going to throw the kids in the car and we're just going to pick a point two, three hours away from home. We're going to drive. And we're gonna stop along the way and then we're gonna see what happens. I love the pace of road trips. I love the challenge of kind of not knowing for sure what's gonna be coming up. I love this trip, man, the discomfort of, like a lot of that riding's been, been a push for me. Like mm -hmm. I've never ridden a lot of those types of roads and having someone on the back, it's, <laughs> it's an extra stress, but for sure now like getting out of it and <sighs> down regulating a bit, I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah. We've done five days of this and we have one more. Like I'm for sure, I feel like I've been on a motorcycle for five days. But the last day out of here, was Joshua Tree. Josh, well through Big Bear. Through Big Bear, yeah, I've never been to either. Yep, down to Joshua Tree. We're gonna go from lakes 
green down into the valley of desert and then all Joshua trees. Like yeah. That's been really high on the travel list for so long. However, right now, I'm gonna go put my foot in this lake <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat some food. So this is what, the seventh state we've driven through from what I can <laughs> tell on our trip? That's what it feels like. At least your sense of humor hasn't gone away. Now, how is, how is this all one state? It really should be three states. California's crazy. And the crazy part is we, we weren't even really in Northern California. We were just kind of in Northern California. There's right. a whole other like few hour drive, if not longer, north now, of there. You both have been to a bunch of these places on various things, like throughout life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you traveled a bunch with your dad. Oh yeah, my mom and dad, my brothers. Yeah, we, we road tripped everywhere. I mean, dude, like Joshua Tree, I mean, all these places. Yeah, me too. I was actually stationed like 15 minutes from here. I'd like to forget those times. Well, it was funny, we were riding and he started convulsing and I was like, oh, we're in 29 Palms, it's where they hatch these Marines. <laughs> I feel like I love it more on a motorcycle though. Really? Like driving through a national park in a car, I'm like listening to music, having conversations on the bike. I'm like looking at everything. Like I see everything so differently. And this is one of the national parks I haven't done on a motorcycle yet, so it's been fun. I mean, majority of this state like we've been to, but to actually tie it together in this kind of flow is pretty pretty amazing. And then do it on a bike. Yeah, plus. And, with, and then with friends. And then with friends, right? And the bike thing adds such a, because we're not talking. Nope. But we are communicating all day. You're all paying attention, there's hand signals, like you're watching a lot. And so it feels a lot like you're moving as a unit while you're not. Mm -hmm. You can always just leave if you have to. <laughs> just, just being in the desert or any of that type of stuff for me is always nostalgic. Like that's where first kind of road trips we started doing were, we're out this way. And on, on road trips, I get nostalgic for previous road trips. Well, you've been in Texas for how long now? Uh, five years. How often do you come back to California? Uh, pretty often. Really? Yeah, we come back at least every other month. Oh, wow. Yeah, because my mom's still here, my brothers are here, all of our family is here. Right. But the problem is we just fly right into Orange County and then we're in like Newport Beach, but to like road trip and go all, to do all this is pretty epic. I mean, Get like a single nostalgic tear? Of course, yeah. It's where, you know, I was born, grew up, I and mean, I went to Berkeley. So I mean like riding south in San Francisco, these are all things I've done, so it's neat. It's cool to live in Texas, because Texas is a big place to explore. But I think like the minute you see the ocean, you kind of like, <gasps> like your stomach, like kind of like, like you catch your breath and you're like, oh my God, it's so nice. And then Lake Arrowhead, uh, so pretty. I mean, it's just like, I know people, everybody will argue this, but I don't know if there's one place that has this, many, like this many postcard places as you have in Texas. I mean, in California, right? Yeah.
miles on those bikes. I'm, I'm beat. It's very weird to think about San Francisco and all the stops along the way. Like the varied landscape in this state's unreal. You know, last trip was such a different one. And you're the only one who's now done both. How was this experience? What did you think? I mean, it's been completely different. I feel like Florida was a lot more about the experiences along the way, whereas this trip we were so much more focused on the landscape and getting to see, you know, all that California has to offer, the coast, the desert, the mountains, like it, Joshua Tree. Like today was probably my favorite day. Getting to ride through the park was amazing. But yeah, just completely different trips, completely different vibes, and both were amazing. For sure. For sure. This is just one of those incredibly epic routes. George, you've ridden all over the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think probably the most accomplished rider in the group. I mean, after being on the bikes all week, I would say, congratulations, you rip. It's it's always <laughs> fun to watch people ride, man. So how is this? Like, you've ridden everywhere. I loved it. I loved it. My favorite was when we left Monterey and went into Cambria, like through the trees, from the sun to the green, to like the wet ground and like the mist and like some of those roads, it was just like incredible. It was so incredible. Like I'd never ridden that, that road before and I've ridden a lot in the state, but I loved it. Yeah, the whole PCH, like it's a legendary thing. Like that's one of those why people do bike trips. Yep. Last trip was a lot more straight lines to places. I've been tested more as a rider for sure with all the twists and turns and I've never ridden anything like that. It definitely made me a better rider for sure. Absolutely. I'm not used to the curves and the twists and the turns and in Vegas where I live, it's just very flat. Coming out here and being able to experience like just going up and down the, the mountains and all the scenery, it's, it definitely made me a better rider. And I thank you guys for helping me out along the way too, because I would definitely consider myself a newer rider and riding with this guy over here, it's, can get stressful trying to keep up, <laughs> but just remembering that, you know, it, it's about the experience. It's, there's nothing to be stressed about, especially when you're riding through all these different places. You excited to get back and get on your smaller bike? <laughs> It'll be easier, even more easier to ride now, especially after riding something that's pretty much double the weight <laughs> yeah, of yeah, my bike. Yeah. So it'll it'll be a, a different experience. Might feel like on. a tricycle. I can't wait. Right. To, I can't wait to hear what you say about <laughs> what it feels like getting on it. I hope it just feels super small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clown bike. Clown bike. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the ride? I really like the desert areas. Joshua Tree was really cool. I've always really wanted to go there. And so getting to ride through Joshua Tree today on a, on a motorcycle's I'm, I'm still pretty sold on this is the best way I like to travel. I think it's an incredible way to see the country and I think it's really doable. What was your favorite? John, you've ridden most of this stuff. Yeah, no, I, I really dug the ride from Monterey to Cambria. I think that's the coolest ride. I mean, that was like, I mean, we're coming through like the curves with and then all the, uh, the fact that we got to see cows. You yeah. know, between like the road and the ocean that is grazing out there. Ten million dollar cows. Uh, like just, that's such an amazing part of California. Like that Cambria coast. I mean, that's like the coolest thing ever. So that, I think that was by far my favorite. I don't know if it's easy to like convey to people the rideability aspect of that bike. That like mm -hmm. you fly in, never having ridden the bike, can jump on it and go ride it and right. basically kick ass for 900 miles. Like, have, I've never yeah, ridden no in any warm up leaving a city. Like, no, like, hey, like, here's right, your bike. here we go. Jump yeah. on. So, there's a big intimidation to, to leaving to go on a trip and get on a bike that you've never ridden before. Yeah, I mean, but but that's like goes into the rideability that like somebody could just get on that bike and right. go ride it for distance. You love Joshua Tree. Yeah, Joshua Tree for sure. Like, it's it's been a place I've been wanting to go for so long. Like, just one of those parks that's always been high on my list. When we pulled in today, I was like, oh man, we're actually here. We're here. I've been thinking about this for so long and getting to see the, you know, the plants and the rocks and getting to climb around and hang out there for a little bit was nice today because we haven't really gotten to like stop in any like nature, I guess, other than elephant seals. Like hang out. Well, we did there. the hike. Yeah. 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 yeah like, that's true. That's true. That was yeah, a good day. That was fun. Um, it just feels like so long ago. Yeah, I know. It feels like a month ago. <laughs> it feels like a <laughs> month Francisco ago. It feels like a month ago. But yeah, it was just cool to kind of be more immersed in an environment today. And yeah, it was awesome. I'm very partial to the desert though. My guess for you, 
the the Arrowhead Lake area. Yeah, I was so nostalgic. My wife and I go there. We used to go there all the time. We take the kids up there. And so it just made me want to like put them on the back of a bike and go up there again and like go do it. But yeah, I love it up there. You could get a couple sidecars. I, I would. I would. My daughter wouldn't be dr- seen dead in one, but my son, he's game. He's game. <laughs> Little mohawk, helmet, <laughs> goggles. He'd like rock it all day. And then he'd be like, Daddy, why can't I drive? <laughs> yeah, right. We well, got a couple years. Do you think this will be something you'll absolutely teach him? Like for sure, he's already got he's already got a quad and he's already got a dirt bike. Oh, and he's perfect! Five. So, yeah, we're 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 heading down the right territory. Right on. I got my son a quad at four. Yeah. So now he's got a dirt. Yeah. So it's like I got to learn to ride. Yeah. I just love the food stops in general. Oh my god. Food's been un- unbelievable. Yeah. Yep. I, I mean, I, but that's ne- look, that's never been someone's complaint about California, right? It's never been like, oh, don't go to California. Uh, the, the food's fact that terrible. I had one of the best flat irons I've ever had. Yeah, right. Today at that place, I was like, oh, this is really good steak. Yeah, that lunch like, I wasn't spot is there. Oh yeah, that you held great. you held baby yeah, you goats. Held baby goats today. Oh. That was excellent. I really liked doing that hike. Yeah. That was sick. I'm still intrigued by the aliens on the beach, the northern elephant seals. Northern elephants. Dude, that was quite an experience. There were so many of them. So many. And when we were trying to figure out how many they were, and I'm like, I don't know, a few hundred, George. Like, there's thousands. Yeah, thousands. I'm like, all right, look. There can't be many left in the water. (laughs) That has to be close to all of them, I imagine, on the beach. (laughs) That oil field area, that Martian-looking landscape. Yeah, Bakersfield. I love. I don't know why, like that grimy. Gnarly area that's unwelcoming is the one that I, I like a lot, but I really like that that area. And then dropping into where we were at uh, Kuyama, that I hotel wasn't expecting was awesome. That. Well, we I mean we, we had a solid ride. Yeah. And then we drop into this like in the middle of nowhere. It looks like a truck stop. And then you got defeated in a swimming race. That's true. Facts. Yes. <laughs> My pants totally came down. Oh. I did. They did. Yeah. I, Listen, I, I like rule seventy six. Poor craftsman uh, blames uh, his uh, tools. You didn't hear me bring it up till now, but my pants came down. Lose so, like a champion. I'm poor need, craftsman blames I'm, his tools. <laughs> uh, we're gonna. <laughs> we'll need a rematch the next time I get some draw That's fair. Next time I get out to Austin, I'll come bring <laughs> speedo and just rip through it. I just don't think that there's much about you that's ripping through water. It's more like a <laughs> blunt object through a doorway. But oh, I'm okay no. to go with it. It's like a manatee. <laughs> It's like, More, a, like, like an, an elephant, elephant seal. seal. Yeah, like an elephant seal, you if you will. See how graceful they are in the water? And we got the best tacos in the world. Really, though? The tacos. Number one. Very memorable moment, because we would have never waited nope. in a line that long. No, no, and I know that that's... You don't a, do lines? No, I don't. And the fact that you were committed to it, and also in a good mood in this line? Yeah, at the end of a long <laughs> ride, and tired, and everything. <laughs> and you were yeah. in a good mood? I'm yeah. Like, these, these are actually going to be really good. So, I mean, that's, that's a thing that I have... You know, very high standards now. I won't lie to you. Yeah. I'll never take you to subpar tacos and be like, these will be the best. I appreciate that. No, you know, that's a pretty big stake in the ground to be like, these are the best tacos you'll ever have. And to say best tacos in L.A., I believe you're arguing best tacos in the world. Well, here's the problem. They were incredible, but, like, I have a hard time saying they're the best tacos, but they're the best tacos I have in recent memory. That's fair. I mean, which is like, I, I was like, I like, I, I might have had better, but I, I don't know where I would have had better tacos. They're best tacos I've ever had. Well, I just want to say thank you, Matt and Bonnie, for bringing us on this adventure. It was a lot of fun. Jen, I, listen, I can't pleasure. say enough or have enough respect and everything to show up on a trip with a group of people that are <laughs> familiar with each other and come ride a big route on a bike that's not yours. Like, hats off, man. Yep. Yeah. Thank like, you. Yeah. I love people that walk toward uncomfortable things, and this is 100% an uncomfortable thing you chose to do. And But you guys made it very comfortable for me. So cool. thank you for allowing me to ride with you guys and hang out and all the pointers and tips, George, for helping me along the route. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for finding time and showing up and being present and riding and being part of all this. Because... We want to show other people that this is something you can do. That this is a completely doable, crazy life goal that people talk about. Like, oh, I'd love to ride my motorcycle through California. Like, it's doable. You know, you can rent a bike, you can learn how, and you can do it. And so, thank you guys. Thanks for being part of this experience, and I'm honored to share it with all of you. Thank Thanks you. for having Good us. Deal. Yeah. Thank you.
Let's find another excuse to ride together. Oh, man. Yeah.